Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be jumping into another use case for QTN Quick Actions. This time we're going to be talking about quick actions that allow us to scale out of an order more precisely. We'll have the option of scaling out as a percentage of our open position or scaling out of our position by a defined quantity. We'll take a quick look at how to get this set up and a few examples. So let's get started. I have my chart trader open and I have pre-configured some quick actions as chart trader buttons. As mentioned in previous videos, these can be configured as buttons or hotkeys. I have a button panel with nine buttons. The top row is scaling out by percentage, 75%, 50%, and 25% of our open position. The second row is the same, however, they use different settings. We'll take a look at those settings here in a second. And then the third row is scaling out by a specified quantity, five contracts, three contracts, and one contract. Before we test it out, let's take a look at how they're configured. Let's open up our indicators and let's take a look at our button configuration. This is a quick action type of flatten or partial close. Close option is a partial close percentage. My options here are percentage or quantity. For these top six buttons, I define the percentage of the position that I want to close, and I have a few settings. If you hover over each of these settings, it gives you an exact explanation of what the setting means. In the case of the percentage resulting in a non-whole number, we need to know whether we should round up or down. For example, 75% of 10 contracts, I needed to know seven contracts or eight contracts, as I can't close 7.5 contracts. This setting has the option of closing the first process or close evenly. This is in the scenario of having multiple levels in an ATM. This allows us to scale out by closing the closest or farthest away levels first, or I can evenly disperse it among all of the levels. Finally, the sorting option will tell us whether we should start closing positions from the first level of stops and targets closest to the average entry price, or work the other direction with the stops and target levels furthest from the entry price. The top row I've configured with first processed and round up to see that as an example. And the second row, I have duplicated it, but I have chosen round down and close evenly options so we can see how those differ. And then finally, the quantity partial closes are very simple. You specify the quantity of contracts that you want to close. You still have the option of defining the sorting level, starting from the inside and working out or the outside and working in. So let's see how this works. So I'm going to be working with ATM1, which has 10 contracts. Now, if I want to close 75% of those contracts, that would be 7.5 in this top row we round it up so it would close eight contracts so I should see when I click this order canceled to remain if I do the second row I have this one rounding down so instead of doing eight contracts it will only do seven order filled and it also does it evenly so you notice in the first one it completely closed the first two levels and left the outermost level remaining with the close evenly it removed contracts from each level until only three were left the same thing applies with the 50 percent 25 percent and the quantity finally when you click a button to scale out and the number of contracts remaining is less than the scale out number defined it will close your position completely order canceled Let's do it one more time with the quantity only. I have 10 contracts, quantity 5. Order canceled. Leaves me with 5 contracts, quantity 3. Order canceled. Leaves me with 2 contracts. Or order quantity failed. 1 leaves me with 1 and finally or order canceled. I'll go ahead and close the position. So this is an example of how you can configure precision scaling out buttons, which can also be used as hotkeys. How would you do this without QTN? Well, to scale out, you would choose the order quantity that you want to scale out. You would have to calculate that either in your head or somewhere else, enter the order quantity, and then enter the order opposite of your current open position. This can take extra time to do, and it can also be prone to errors. If you forget to change the quantity or change the quantity incorrectly, or if you click the wrong button, you could be scaling into your order instead of scaling out. So hopefully you can see the the power of using QTN to scale out of your positions with precision, saving you the headaches and the potential lost ticks due to error. That's it for today. Don't forget to go to our website, which is linked in the description, to download your free trial of Quick Trade Ninja QTN so you can try out these features for yourself. If you found this video helpful, we'd appreciate it if you'd like it and subscribe to receive future videos. We really appreciate that. It helps us reach more traders like you. Thanks again for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.